Hi, this is JP from No The Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to the uh, Ice and Death Part 2 scenario of the Edge of the Earth campaign. Uh, last time we um, determined that one of the expedition members was missing in action and that was Dr. Maya Sinha. And I put the card underneath the scenario reference card here to indicate that she is missing in action and of course here are the uh, or here is the only uh, death, uh, dead uh, expedition member also and uh, we have uh, done the setup for this scenario uh, following the instructions in the campaign guide for uh, doing the setup from scratch so I just saw that which locations are revealed so we put the revealed locations in the play revealed side face up and add clues there. Uh, the other uh, locations, all of them are placed onto the table also, but uh, the, they are unrevealed so far. Then we have to uh, pick a number of enemy cards uh, and shuffle those with some story assets or, or story cards which have the encounter deck uh, or encounter card back and then those nine cards we had one enemy and eight um, other cards uh, or the story cards we shuffled and placed randomly underneath each uncharted location now we, uh, what we need to do is to find uh, the missing expedition members and that is only Dr. Maya Sinha so once we find uh, that expedition member we can resign well we can resign at any point if we feel like we are uh, not going to find find it, the lost member or something like that but uh, this is a quite quite of a similar scenario to the uh, midnight mass scenario from the core box because you can push your luck try to find as many cards or reveal as many cards as you can each card i think gives you experience so you should try to stick around as long as possible in my test game i actually found the doctor from the first um card i revealed so that was a bit bit of a stupid test but at least i know now how this uh, scenario works so i reached shuffled all the cards so i don't know where the uh, lost me expedition member is. Uh, I also had seven experience from my last scenario which we can spend in between scenarios so let's uh, hop over to arkhamdb.com and look what upgrades I did to Monterey Jack's deck. We are over on arkhamdb.com and let's just look through which changes I did to the deck. So I added two copies of magnifying glass level one and uh, these are replacements for the flashlights uh, the reason is because they are fast to play and they don't cost any resources i'll take the one plus two skill on instead of the minus two shroud and we don't have to mind about those uh, charges or, or the supplies then uh, I, I picked death number 13 this is just because i had one experience left and i thought well if we get lucky and get this in our opening hand we can play it and get the plus one uh, intellect which is really good uh, then uh, we took two hiking boots these are really good they give you extra movement when you get all those clues you already want to get so you can after getting those clues just move freely to the next location so really really good for Monterey and then because we are uh, running for sled dogs I picked Rod of Animalism and this is just so that I can play those uh, sled dogs even if I happen to have uh, uh, Leo de Luca in play at the same time so that is that and what I replaced was the two flashlights uh, one perception this was the last cut uh, 
remove so I can fit the death 13 into the deck. Uh, lucky cigarette cases I removed because I, I honestly, honestly think Jack doesn't need any more card draw uh, added to his own ability and force learning. So this pretty much was a placeholder for the Rod of Animalisms. And then uh, hit me. I, I like the car, but somehow I always get the skull token and auto fail the test. So I thought to remove this and add uh, the hiking boots instead. So those were all the changes into the deck. Uh, uh, quite a lot of cards uh, were removed and added. So that is why I wanted to go through the deck. So next we are ready to start playing so I think I've gone through everything well uh, this is should be here so um, yeah so uh, one thing I need to remind is that uh, this is the crash site is still marked because we found the um, spare parts from their last game so it is uh, max one success per campaign so we can't uh, find more spare parts from that location again so that is why it is marked but that is all I want to say before we start so let's get started we are ready to begin so I'll draw my opening hand let's see if we get some good cards for the start so uh, two Faustian bargains are basic weakness which we place immediately Oh yeah, uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that we start with the amount of uh, resources our shelter number is. So it is 7, so we start with 7. So that is a boost for our ability to play cars right at the start. That means the Faustian bargains are not that uh, necessary, I think. Uh, obfuscation, maybe. I think I'm uh, shuffling these and I'll actually... So let's get five more cards. Fieldwork, sled dog, uh, backpack, scout ahead, elusive. Well, I think that's a uh, good enough start. So I think we can try to find some magnifying glasses or something with the backpack. Play fieldwork and possibly sled dogs. Yeah, so I think that is our first turn. Just set up and then start investigating. So we'll shuffle the mulligan cars back into the deck. And uh, how we reveal these is to, to spend one grouper investigator as a group at the location. We want to uh, flip the card over. So it is a free action. So uh, we can just get a clue, then flip a card if there is a card underneath with the location. So Keep that in mind. It, that is enough shuffling. Uh, first turn, I'll play field work. There's two resources. Second action, I'll play backpack. Well, uh, again, I'm backtracking. I'll play the backpack first action because that might change which cards I want to play. So, we'll pick six cards and put item assets underneath so that was a useless <laughs> backpack no item assets on the top of our deck so unfortunately because this is empty we discard it so that was a waste of an action and two resources it happens sometimes with the backpack level zero but it is what it is Big shuffle to the deck. And we'll continue by place field work. And we'll use the rest of our resources to play one of the sled dogs. So, uh, sled dogs. You may include up to four copies of sled dogs in your deck. Up to two sled dog cards take up a single ally slot. Exhaust X sled dogs move X times. Uh, exhaust X select dog fight your get plus X for this attack instead of your standard damage. This attack deals X damage, so 
I think we want a lot of sled jobs in into play. And now, now we can play already one more. And if we get the ani uh, rod of animalism into play, then we can play all the four, four of them. So that did, that was our first turn. No enemies. We got upkeep. We didn't move, so we can't use uh, Monterey Jack's ability. But we still draw two cards. Was learning. Uh, unfortunately, we got Leo a bit late, so I'm taking the breaking and entering. We'll gain one resource, and that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. One thing I forgot to mention at the start of the game, uh, we had to add one frost token into the chaos pack at the start of the scenario setup, so that was already done, but it is what it is, there are so many things to remember when you play these scenarios for the first few times, so okay, uh, we'll add a doom to the agenda. Encounter card for this turn is, it is a skittering nonsense, so we get an enemy already, which is not nice. Will really hinder our ability to do anything. I, I think we don't have a good means to fight it yet. So I think I will uh, just evade. I am evading. Five versus four. I think I want this many cars, so or uh, I I think I'm coming in the start ahead. We just want to get rid of this and start moving. We don't have to stay here, we can just move up away and start investigating elsewhere. So uh, evading seven versus four. It is a minus two, so this enemy is evaded. Then I will I will move over here. Uh, we trigger field work for the last action. We'll investigate. I'm using Kensler's log. So we get plus two, so we have an eight investigation and we also get two clues if we succeed. Minus three, we succeed, we'll get two clues. And I'll save the re reveal of this card for next turn. Or actually we could do that in the upkeep phase. Or So uh, we'll go to enemy phase, nothing happens, upkeep, this enemy readies. And uh, I'll spend one clue now to reveal this. It is a story card, Evil Within. Uh, discard an idol on enemy that does not have the elite trait from play. Add this story card to the victory display. So it's a victory zero, but we'll add it here. And uh, this is an idol on enemy, so we'll just discard this. So that, that was actually lucky, we didn't defeat it, so it doesn't trigger, it just gets discarded. So that helped a lot. And, well, we still need to try and find the uh, lost expedition member, so uh, we'll go to upkeep, we draw two cards, I think I picked the perception, discard weakness, and gain one resource. So that is that turn. And let's go to the next turn. We'll add another Doom. So, 2 of 5. And come card is Solar Mirage. Revelation attached to the nearest location with at least one clue and without a copy of Polar Mirage attached. And after you discover that or take control of one or more clues at the attached location, discard each non weakness card in your hand. Discard Polar Mirage. Okay. Uh, now I have to think, I could just back, uh, backtrack to the remnant of the lake camp and forget this location, I think I'll do that, so put it over here. And we'll uh, start by moving here. I will use uh, 
field work. I'll investigate once. Investigating um, six versus three. And it is a minus three for each point to fail, but we didn't fail, so we grab one blue. Last action, I'm using the Kepler's log to investigate, and I'll get plus two, so I'm investigating six versus three again. And if we succeed, we get one additional blue. Minus one, we'll grab uh, these two clues. Oh, yeah, uh, one thing I forgot to mention uh, is that we had to pick uh, Dr. Amy Kess Kensler uh, as our uh, partner because uh, the reason that Dr. Maya Sinha is missing in action dictated that we can't pick anyone else. So that is why uh, this ally, ally is in play. But yeah, we got those clues. No enemies will go to upkeep. We'll spend one clue to see what card is underneath here. It is another story card, Flory Evidence. Uh, says uh, top nine cards of your deck for each copy of Tekelili and place each one point on the bottom of the Tekelili deck without resolving. Shuffle your deck, add this story card from the victory display. We don't have any in our deck at the moment, so just gets removed. And that is that. Next turn, I think we can move here. This ready is actions ready. We'll be moved, so I'm picking one resource uh, for Monterey's ability. I actually forgot that last turn, but it is what it is. I uh, will get two cards at upkeep, and I'm picking. Uh, uh, I think I'm picking uh, quick thinking. It's more versatile. Then, and we get one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add another Doom, 3 of 5, Encounter Core is Ancient Evil, so we add a Doom and that is that, so 4 of 5, next turn we advance the agenda unfortunately. Uh, first action is to move to Broad Snowdrift, we have to spend one clue to move there, it is because it's not revealed yet. Uh, broad Snowdrift uh, 1. Route two clues. When you successfully investigate Broad Snow Drift at one cross token to the Chaos Pack, discover three additional clues at Broad Snow Drift. We don't want to do that because of reasons. There are not that many clues here. Okay, um, I'll exhaust field work and investigate here. Investigating uh, six versus. One and it is an auto fail. Well, that is life. I, I think I'm quick learning. Next, uh, I'm using the perception. Uh, seven versus something. We get a cross token. It is a minus one and it is a minus two, but still we succeed. Nothing else happens, so we get the car from the perception, which is an inter report. We get one clue, and uh, we get an extra action, which we'll use to investigate again. I won't spend anything to this, so forward one. And it is a skull shelter here, it's four, so it's a minus two. We still succeed and grab a clue. And that is our investigation phase. We move once, I'll take a I'll take a card. Or, uh, we have quite a lot. I think I'm taking a resource. Yeah. Then um, we go to upkeep. I'll spend one to reveal this. It is another story. Disappearing footprints. Uh, remove one cross token from the chaos bag. Add this story card into the display. Okay. Well, that was a cute one. Okay, there's one. So we remove this from our back for the rest of the campaign, which is really good. Uh, we're ready up. Then we draw two cards. Uh, Leo the Duca and Lone Wolf. I think I'm picking Leo. The sled dogs are not showing up, so I'm thinking of changing to Leo to get more actions. 
and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We had a doom, so the agenda unfortunately advances. Let's see what happens next. So choose a face down and counter card beneath the location. Look at the other side of that card without resolving the text. There are then return it based on beneath the location. Um, I think one of the locations we probably won't be getting into easily, uh, or yeah, easily is this one. So uh, we will reveal that one. And <laughs> Dr. Maya Sinha is underneath there. So uh, I think we need to save some clues, get there, and try to solve that one. Yeah, so I think this is just to point you in the right di direction and narrow down your search. So again, we have a, a five chance. So we will, we won't go here. There's no point. These are beneficial, of course, but we just need to find the missing member. Uh, one thing to note, uh, because we can look at this card now. So. Uh, the action is parlay test willpower 2 to attempt to calm Dr. Sinha down. For each point you succeed by place one resource on her from the token pool. If you fail, she attacks you. If there are two resources on her, add her into the victory display. So, if you have noticed Monterey Jack's willpower is 1. So, uh, we have to do some sketchy stuff when we uh, engage the uh, Dr. Maya Sinha can take advantage of field work for that, so I'm hoping we are, we are able to get those uh, rules on her, or, or resources on her. So, uh, encounter card for this turn is a Dark Aurora, willpower 3 for each frost token revealed during this test, take one horror, if you fail take two horror, we are just testing this. Uh, minus theory, we fail. We take two or I'll just take it. Well, uh, we kill off the sled dogs because we are playing first action Leo de Luca. And we gain an extra action for each round until Leo is defeated. Uh, we'll Oh boy, the scout ahead would have been good here, but it is what it is, so we'll move. We could move through here and grab a clue while we're moving, so we'll do that. Frozen waste, uh, choose route, zero, uh, one clue, we'll just investigate here. And I'm using Dr. Amy Kensler, so we're investigating. Uh, with a base kill of 5, so 5 versus 2, auto fail, we'll just investigate again. And using the Dr. Merrick Kensler, minus 2, we succeed and we can get to look at the top card and I think this is fine. You just want to avoid enemies, so we'll go to upkeep, uh, we'll get one resource, we'll um, for uh, Monterey Jack's ability, then uh, we go to upkeep, we draw the cards, I am getting the set dogs and discarding the detective, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. I think this turn will be quite fast, so we'll add doom, and count the card is the one we that uh, through the eyes, uh, that's the nearest location without a copy, and move out, we need to test agility 2, just do that, first action will move, uh, four, 5 versus 2, actually first action will, yeah we, we got this clue last turn, yeah first action is to move, Testing to be able to move. It is a frost token minus one. 
and it is uh, shroud of two to one minus two we are successful we don't take any there is nothing that causes negative effects from cross tokens so you're able to move here and uh, uh, so we move here we'll move over here spending four uh, no 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 we, we need to have one clue to flip that so let's back up I'll investigate over here so move investigate uh, investigating let's just use this so five versus two oh the fail <laughs> again five versus two minus one last action move over here so next turn we can move in with that card and start doing some shenanigans and that is our turn now enemy actions will go to upkeep uh, we move more than once so i'll take a card i also take a resource with monterey's ability then we get two cards i'll pick quick thinking discard this no no we have a no what well, we use the willpower so we'll do that and we gain more resource so that is that turn let's go to the next turn we add another doom and counter for this turn is frenzied explorer humanoid possessed frenzied explorer enters play with one doom on it force when frenzied explorer is defeated move each doom on it uh, to its location after you successfully evade frenzied explorer by two or more take control of one doom on frenzied explorer and flip it to its blue side then, if there is no Doom on Frenzy Explorer, discard it. Okay, uh, well, at least we have a good way of dealing with this enemy by evading. We also get a free clue from it, which is nice. So, first action, we are evading. And uh, actually, yeah. Hmm. I think I will play breaking and entering because check. I think yeah. If we automatically if we don't yeah, so that won't work. We'll just evade old old school so four five versus two and I'm actually spending this one, so six versus two Minus one, we evade, this flips to its clue side, we get it, and this enemy is discarded, because there are no clues on it, or, or on it, so that, that was good. Second action, we'll spend four clues to move to the uh, barrier camp, and it is a four shot location, we need three clues, we don't care about those rules at the moment we just want to want to flip this enemy okay uh, free action we'll spend one clue and uh, we will reveal this card and it is the Dr. Maya Sinha we will Yeah, so we are over here. We'll uh, take an attack of opportunity and move back. So we take one damage, one horror. And now we'll use field work. So we boost our uh, intellect by one. Uh, no, our willpower by one. We don't have any other boost in hand except the quick thinking. I'll. Uh, I'll use quick thinking for this test. So we are testing uh, four versus two. So we need a minus two or better, and uh, we'll get one resource on that enemy. 
and it is a skull skull is minus two so we are able to add one resource here uh, we don't get the quick thinking extra action so that is not nice so uh, during the enemy phase uh, we take one damage and one horror and upkeep we draw two cards I'm picking the Unexpected courage. Well, Rod of Animalism is not useful at the moment. So we discard that. We get on the source. That is actually a really good draw for next turn. So we can try to defeat Dr. Maya Sinha. So that is that turn. This is ready. So let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a Doom. Encounter card for this turn is. Polar Vortex. Uh, that's your location. When you end your turn at that last location, each card that you control with health takes one direct damage. At the end of the round, discard Polar Vortex. So, put it over here. I'm just double checking. So, this didn't uh, get removed, oh, and that didn't get removed. Yeah. Okay, so that is fine. First action. We will just move here, take one attack of opportunity, so one damage, one horror, we all can take it. We, second action, we'll use field work, we'll use the unexpected courage. So we are testing willpower 5 versus 2, so minus 3 or better. It is a minus 2, so we get one uh, risk resource on the Dr. Maya Sinha. That means uh, she goes into the victory display. Over here. And next action. We'll actually check what's underneath here. Uh, yeah, that doesn't cause an action. Choose a possessed enemy in play and does not have an elite trait. Take control of each two minutes on that enemy. Flip them to their close at this card. Choose an enemy at this card and we trip. Well, it didn't do anything. And uh, then. Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, yeah, I forgot. I you ha you are If you are at the base camp, we're fine. So we need to get back there. So. I'll do double action here for one, two, one, two, no we can't move there, we don't have the crew, so we'll move there, one, two, and we'll gain one uh, card, what's this, no, no, uh, lone wolf. Then uh, we go to upkeep, no enemy actions, so two cards will pick uh, obfuscation and we can get the resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at four or five doom, encounter card for this turn is uh, wide out. Uh, that's your location, it's investigator, that location gets minus one to all stats at the end of the round, discard wide out. So this gets discarded at the end of the round. Like this. Uh, discarded last turn, so that is good. Uh, one, uh, let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, and last action we resign. So uh, we resign and uh, resolution one. Yeah, this should have been ready. So resolution one, each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display. It is unfortunately only one, but it is what it is. I don't know if there might have been some enemies that give you victory points, but I think nothing else gives you victory points in this scenario. Um, then in the expedition team section, come below, records that ama the amount of damage and horror on each partner as they play, that is none. Find each enemy in the victory display whose title matches the character who is not crossed off in the expedition team section of camp log. These characters have been rescued cross off MIA next to the each of those characters' names. So we cross off MIA from Dr. Maya Sinha. Each missing team member who was not found surely 
could not have survived the night in the expedition team section of the Campbellot cross off the name of each character who is still marked MII that is none. Then proceed to checkpoint to the attack and uh, checkpoint to the attack. First off, uh, we have a choice if we want to run for our lives because we are being attacked by some Tekelili monsters or something like that. Uh, or stand and fight. So if we run for our lives, we proceed to attack 2 and skip the Ice and Death part 3. But I think we will pick uh, stand and fight and pick the resolution of the attack number 4. You've decided to fight off the attacking creatures in the Ice and Death section of the campaign log under rec uh, locations revealed. Record each location you have revealed. Uh, this location will start in play and reveal the next time you play. Clean up the game as normal. When you are ready to play, begin the Ice and Death Part 3. So, that was Ice and Death Part 2. A pretty interesting scenario. We were way off, but that one card uh, gave us the hint that we need to go to the barrier camp to find the missing expedition member, which helped us a lot and saved us a lot of time. So, uh, next time we will be playing the Ice and Death Part 3. So, hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.